Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. Today's video, it's all about suits. We're going to compare a suit I bought off the rack versus a suit I bought off the internet. And I know, you may not wear a suit every day, every week, every month, but I have a sneaking suspicion that over the course of the next year, somebody you know is going to either get married or die. In either case, I want you to look like a well-tailored James Bond, double O sassy. Before we dive into the comparison, let's take a look and talk about how a suit should fit. First, let's talk about the jacket's width. Notice that the jacket's width does not extend past the natural shoulder line of this gentleman. Next, let's talk about the waist. The jacket should be able to be buttoned with a slight pull at the top button. It shouldn't be tight, but it also shouldn't have a lot of extra fabric around the midsection. The jacket's length, well basically, it just needs to cover your butt. You should be able to extend your arms all the way down and grasp the bottom edge of the jacket. Pants, it's a nice low rise. The pant leg is not real wide. Coming down, this specific suit does not have a break. You can wear your pants a little bit longer, but what that means is there's going to be a slight crease or break in the bottom next to your shoe. Either way is acceptable. It's really personal preference. But overall, this suit is making this gentleman look tall, thin, and dynamite. A few videos ago, I went over the Alpha M Top 10. Top 10 items that I feel every man should have in his wardrobe. Well, today, we're going to use three of those. The well-fitted white dress shirt, like I'm wearing, black silk tie, and a gray suit, which we'll get to in a moment. All right, so it's time for you to buy a new suit, and you decided that you're going to go and buy one off the rack. You're going to go into a store, find a sales associate, and get measured. So you find a sales associate, you go up to them, you tell them, I want to buy a suit or a sport coat, whatever it may be. They're going to use a tape measure to take your jacket measurement. They're going to go up under your armpits, or around your back, <laughs> easier said than done, cross your chest, and measure. Right now, mine is a 43. So I go into a store, they're going to measure me pretty much every time at a 43. They're also going to tell me that I need a short jacket. Um, there are three different lengths of jackets. They're short, medium, or regular, and long. And depending on your height, that's really going to determine what jacket you're going to use. Typically, anything under 5'8 is going to be in a short. Anything under 6 feet to 5'8 is going to be in a regular. And over 6 foot, you're typically going to be in a long. Okay, so you got your measurement. I'm going to be a 43 short. I'm going to go find my jacket. All right, so you have your measurement. You go over to the rack, and I'm going to try on a 43 short. And what happens? I try this jacket on, and it is huge. I'm swimming in it. This suit was not designed for a guy who has an athletic build. Because I work out, because my chest and my back are a little bit more broad, that makes my jacket size and technical measurement a little bit bigger. What happens is, if I would actually buy that 43 short and take it home, even though it's huge, I'd go get it tailored, it would cost me $50, $100, $175 to get that jacket tailored so that it fits me the way that I want it to. So what I end up doing is going down and trying smaller sizes. I'm measured a 43, I'm going to try on a 42, 41, 40. Usually what I do is buy a 40 short. It cuts down on the amount of tailoring that I need. Now sure, it's a little bit snug in the chest and the shoulders when you go like this, but who really goes like that anyway? So I bought a 40 short. Let's take a look and see what the suit looks like. All right, off the rack. I went to a discount store, spent $200 and got this suit. I've had no tailoring done to it except for the pants being hemmed. And uh, what do we find? The sleeve's still a little bit long. The length of the jacket, it's right. I can curl my hands and that fits right. Shoulders, it fits okay. Chest, a little bit tight, but it's fine. It's a 40 short. Now, here's the problem. Look at this jacket. There's still a ton of room here. I would need to take this to the tailor, spend $50, $75 to get this thing tailored so that it actually fits me well. All right, so that's the jacket. Not too great. It's passable, but there's nothing sexy going on about this outfit. I'm not double O sassy, I'm double O dorky. Let's take a look at the pants. All right, here are the pants. I was lucky enough to find a suit that actually has flat front pants or slacks. Uh, typically, if you go to a normal suit store, 
you're going to be hard pressed to find pants that are not pleated unless you get something like a Kenneth Cole, Calvin Klein, Hugo Boss, Armani, something that's a little bit more European inspired and a little bit more modern and progressive they're going to have flat front pants but okay here we go the pants flat front the length, I got them hemmed, the right length in the back, coming down not touching the floor. The front, there's a break, but come on, dude, seriously? They're huge. Look at all this extra room in the thighs and the legs in the crotch, not to mention the crotch. Look at this thing. I've got yards of extra fabric, okay? I'm not a tall guy, but having pants that have real low rise and all this extra fabric make my legs look that much shorter and me, ultimately, that much shorter. So to get that suit to look and fit me like that picture, I would have to take it to get it altered. And I would probably end up spending an additional $100, $150, $200 on that suit to get it to fit me the way that I want it to. So ultimately, I just spent $300, $400, $500, dollars on that crappy suit. Are you kidding me? There's got to be another option. Another option is to go to a tailor or a custom suit maker and say, I want a suit made for me. Well, guess what? That suit is going to fit you great. The problem, it's going to cost $1,000, $1,200, $1,500 for that one suit. That's a ton of money. Well, you may have noticed that on the internet nowadays, you're seeing a lot of different things. A lot of custom shirts, a lot of custom pants, custom suits. Well, I was on Modern Tailor designing some shirts, and I saw that they actually also do custom suits. I'm like, all right. How much do these things cost? I looked and depending on the fabric, you're going to spend $350, $400, $500 for a really nice expensive fabric. And I was like, all right, let me give this a try because if this suit fits me half as well as the shirts do, then I'm in business. So I decided I was going to design a suit online. All right, so I started designing this suit. I first picked the fabric, and there were a ton of options. Then there are all these other options about pockets, and do I want double breasts and single breasts? How many buttons? Do I want flat front slacks, cuffs, no cuffs, side pockets, front pockets, back pockets? You name it, it's an option. So I get done all that, and then it's time to plug in measurements. Well, just like with the custom shirts that they do, they show you pictures of where you need to measure using the tape measure where you're measuring on other clothes that you currently have that fit you really well. So that's the key. You've got to find a jacket and pants that fit you really well to take the measurement. So I grabbed the Banana Republic pair of slacks that I have. They fit me the best out of any pants I have. I've never been able to find another pair that fit me that well. Jackets. I went and got a sport coat that I recently bought and actually got tailored and this thing fit me pretty much perfectly. So I took all my measurements, plugged them in, and ordered the suit. Cost me about $365, including shipping. And it arrived. Let me put it on. And here is the suit. And it is double O dynamite. Seriously, here it is. Boom, look at that. Cinch pinched in the waist, slight pull. Hands right there, leg perfect, double vent. Woo, woo, woo. And here it is, this suit is not only fitting me better than anything I've ever owned, it feels better, this thing is unbelievable. And I think you all would agree that this is head and shoulders above that other baggy piece of crap that I had on earlier. Look at that. Are you kidding me? From the, it, nobody ever touched me. I did these measurements, I sent it in. A week and a half later, this thing came in my front door. I am ready for action. And here are the pants. Notice, the legs, they're not overly baggy. There's not a whole lot of room. The rise and the pants, are you kidding me? The crotch, that's all me! So I got my suit, I tried it on. What do you think the next thing I did was, other than stare at myself in the mirror for a really long time? That's right. <laughs> not too long. I went to Modern Tailor and I ordered a black one because I loved the way that this fit, I loved the price, I loved everything about it. And with Modern Tailor, you do the measurements once. If it works for you, you don't need to change it. You go back, you pick the fabric, you pick your options, and the suit is going to come in a few days, and it's going to fit you identically to the one that you already got, or the, this one that I got. <sighs> I didn't stare that long. In conclusion, every guy needs one high-quality, well-tailored suit in his wardrobe. And remember, guys, a great wardrobe is not something that just happens one day. It's something that you build upon year after year. 
Spend the money on quality items when appropriate. And that one suit that you're going to own that's going to be versatile enough for weddings and funerals, that's the time to spend a little extra money to make sure that suit fits you great, looks amazing. And sure, you could go to a store, even a discount store, and buy a suit that fits you eh, off the rack and you're going to spend a few hundred dollars, regardless of the quality. You're going to go then and take it to a tailor to make sure it fits you better and you're going to spend a few hundred dollars there. By the time it's all said and done, you've spent more than if you went to Modern Tailor, there's a link below, and did a suit customized for you. And come on, saying, yo, what's up, the suit is custom, I made it, that is a whole lot cooler than saying, yes, I got it at J.C. Penney's or Macy's or wherever the hell you buy suits, wherever you're from. I'm Aaron Marino. I feel like 007. I am like James Bond in this suit. Damn it, don't you tell me differently, bitch. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.